The meandering Ohio River wends its way through a population of 25 million from Appalachia through the farms of the Midwest before emptying into the Mississippi. The conservation group American Rivers has named that 1,500 kilometer stretch as one of the 10 most endangered waterways in America. There are health advisories as far as fish consumption from the river is concerned. A lot of mercury pollution still is contaminating fish. We also have contact warnings where people can't normally swim and fish in the river. For the wildlife and the human residents of the Ohio River Basin, sewage and toxic runoff from farms and industrial plants have taken their toll. This is a working river lined with power plants burning coal, petrochemical plants, steel manufacturers, and other polluters. Each year, they dump 18 million kilograms of toxic chemicals into the Ohio River Basin. That's 20% of all the chemicals released in American waterways. And that's why it's so dirty. There is hope for tainted waterways. As recently as 1997, American Rivers listed Cincinnati's Mill Creek as the most endangered urban stream in America. It was in pretty desperate shape, but after 25 years of very hard work with a lot of great partners, um, it's made an amazing comeback with fish and birds and wildlife. But where Mill Creek now empties into the Ohio River, testing reveals a waterway in crisis and drinking water in danger. Unlike the northern Great Lakes, Seattle's Puget Sound, and Florida's Everglades, the Ohio River hasn't been designated as a federally protected water system, which would open the door to restoration funding. Many conservationists say the answer is to make polluters treat their own toxic waste rather than dumping it into public waters. Government should say, no, we're not going to allow you to pollute a source of drinking water where our citizens then will bear the cost... But with little funding, less action, and no national plan, there is scant hope of restoring America's toxic waterways to health anytime soon. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Cincinnati.